morning, and thank you for joining us. I'm Omar Bailey. And I'm White Quail. Today, we're going to be talking about the Special Olympics and how it benefits people with development and physical disabilities. The Special Olympics was founded in Washington, D.C. in 1968 by Ed K Kenny Silver, the sister of the former USA President, John F. Fisher Kenny. The Special Olympics is an organized that helps people with development and physical disabilities get stronger, make new friends, and be more active. The Special Olympics holds games across the world throughout the year. The Special Olympics hosts more than 30 sporting events, including track and field, swimming, cross country, skiing, and basketball. After the athletes compete in events, they won a medal based on off of how well they do. They got first, if you get first, you'll get a gold medal. They, they got second, they'll get a silver medal. Let me show that better, sorry. And then if you get third, they'll get a bronze medal. However, you're not left out. If you're beyond third place, you're still a winner. Athletes also recite the Special Olympics. Athletes recite before they play their games. The oath is, let me win, but if I do not win, let me be brave in the attempt. Special Olympics has a healthy athletes program where you can get eyes, ears, teeth, and feet checked. They also have some breakfast, lunch, and dinner for both the athletes and coaches. People who are really good enough in their sport are eligible to go to the national games or even the world games. The world summer and winter games take place every two years from each other, ending in an odd number. For example, the most recent summer games took place in 2019, and then the most recent and winter games took place in 17. Then summer games again in 2015 and so on. The world, only world games that were not held on in odd year were the first three games, which were held in 1968, 1970, 1972. Athletes will also learn how to be more independent, make new friends, be passionate, and be brave in what they do. The special mix can also possibility induce them to a new hobby of playing some new sports. The Special Olympics also hosts fundraisers where people donate money to help the athletes in various ways, such as new equipment transformation feds and hotel feds. Most of the fundraisers are within our partners in the law enforcement. Oh, Marty, Special Olympics are amazing! The Special Olympics provide 30 sports to millions of athletes around the world, from track and field to swimming to basketball and the list goes on. The Special Olympics provide something for everyone. I spoke with Omar Perry, a Special Olympics athlete who said his wife was born, he didn't like exercising, and he didn't have that many friends, and he was sad before he joined the Special Olympics. You see, before I joined Special Olympics, uh, my life was really boring. Um, I was I was really shy. I didn't have that really many friends back then. But when I joined Special Olympics, thanks to Chelsea Hinman, um, I was able to make lots of friends and be more active. Because before I hated exercising, but now I I love exercising so much. Now that Omar is in the Special Olympics. He is no longer star and has made plenty of friends and laughs to act tough now. I also spoke with Bas Finn Austin, who has been a coach for the Special Olympics since 1989. Since he started Special Olympics 32 years ago, and she joined the Special Olympics when her principal, the child, who said it was so mean to do it, found up and she's been doing it to this day. Well, when I started working at BOCES, my principal who hired me said it was my mandatory volunteer job, so I started doing it, and I've been doing it ever since. Bas Fienostin also said that she has so much story good in the athletes, and it's her passion, and she loves watching the athletes grow and have fun. I get so much joy coaching the athletes, that's why I do it. It's my passion and um, I just love watching the athletes have fun and grow. 
The Spazio Olympics holds competitions across the world, throughout the Rio and helps install the great files of house, responsibility, friendships, respect for needs, and good sportsmanship. This is Dust Brown reporting. Back to all in the story. Oh. Exactly how many sports do we play in the Special Olympics? Find out after the break. Hi, I'm CEO and founder of Go Away Spray. Have you ever had a pesky friend that has never left you alone with really annoying questions? Go ahead and spray them with the Go Away Spray. The reason why it hurts so much is because we take really volatile peppers and really hot things, grind them up, and then put them in a canister for you to spray into people's faces that are annoying and want people to go away. If you ever want one of these, go down there to see your local retailers. Look right here for the price of $19.99, and then look right here for what it looks like. I'm David Marshall, and I approve this message. Don't you hate dropping your phone and not catching it? Me too, man. Well, now I'm here to introduce you to these fancy headphones. These headphones will catch your phone every time before it hits the floor. If you call this number right now, 1-800-HEADPHONES, you will get this great deal for 50% off the second pair you buy. And to make this deal even better, next five people to call 1-800-HEADPHONES will get the first pair free. Meet the hand grapple. Rick and Rose used to steal a dog, annoy people, make obnoxious noise, and make people and animals not rock roll. Everyone was saying we're acting ridiculous, and they are rock. Rick and find hand grapples at work, toys to fall in, and breathe a brief roll plus of two towels. For one to be and start annoying everyone. Hand grapples, the ultimate annoying toy. Proud sponsor of the Spazio Olympics. Annoying person not important. The first one we're going to be talking about is track and field, which includes multiple sports in one. Some include running meters, lengths around the track, such as the 50 meter, which is about half of the one end of the track, the 100 meter, which is one end of the track, and the 200 meter, which is halfway around the track. The softball throw, shot put, turbo jab, and a pantathlon, which includes five track and field sports, all in one. Next, we will talk about swimming, which is played during the summer. Reason, summer season, excuse me. Athletes either have to swim on their backs due to breaststroke or swim freestyle. Full hockey is played during the winter season, as well as cross country skiing, which is skiing on a flat surface, alpine skiing, which is skiing downhill and figure skated. During the fall season, Athletes play softball, bossy ball, no, not. Bocce ball. Bocce ball, golf, and cross, cross running. Call, ugh, cross country running. And, and, they, and it, that sport usually has them doing the 3K to 5K run. Or something like that. During the summer like season, that. track and field, powerlifting, tennis, <coughs> basketball, swimming, bowling, and our cross yard is played. The athletes play more sports than these in the Special Olympics. These are just a few of them. Thank you so much for joining us today. And more from us, follow Josh on his website and on his social media platforms. I'm Omar Bailey for Josh Brown Sports. And I'm Wyatt for Josh's Josh Brown Sports. Have an amazing day, everyone.